International relations is very diverse. It primarily involves international politics, particularly the international politics of security and defense, of international organizations. My name is Andrew Walter. I'm a professor of international relations at the University of Melbourne in the School of Social and Political Sciences. Uh, we have a series of compulsory and core subjects which introduce students to the main elements of international relations as a subject. But in addition to that, uh, one of the real strengths, I think, is the enormous range and diversity of elective subjects that students can take. I just completed an intensive subject two weeks ago called Fieldwork in Complex and Hostile Places. It was a part intensive subject and a part practical subject as well, so four days at the law school and then four days at the University of Melbourne's campus in Dukey. My name is Rupert Christie. I'm studying a Masters of International Relations. In Dukey we did practical training about how to compose ourselves in a complex and hostile place, so anywhere from a developing country to a failed state. If I was to be working there in the future, I'd feel really comfortable in my ability to operate as a professional in that environment. The course brings together a really diverse group of people, uh, people from all different backgrounds, uh, of different ages, with different previous work experiences. I feel like they've filtered through a really interesting group of people who somehow mesh really well and are all very supportive of the thing that we're all striving towards. Hi, my name is Sophie Quinn and I'm studying the Master of International Relations. I've built really strong relationships with a lot of the teachers that I've had. The university provides a lot of key figures uh, to come and speak at public lectures and to even come into class to deliver lectures. The teaching staff add to the richness of the student experience by teaching in a different way. We use case study analysis, uh, role play. We attempt to use the diversity of uh, the student cohort um, and integrate that in our teaching. In addition to the, uh, to the various subjects which are available within the program, the Master of International Relations offers students the opportunity either to do a, a minor thesis. Secondly, uh, we offer them the opportunity to undertake an internship. So our students, for example, have gone into the office of the UN uh, High Commissioner for Refugees. They've gone to uh, the Thailand Human Development Forum. Uh, they've done internships in Canberra and what we do try to emphasize is uh, the way in which we try to mesh the academic study of international relations with uh, actual policy practice. The degree has provided me with the resources I need to not only prepare me for a career in international relations but also to give me the confidence to know that uh, a career like that is possible. The Masters of International Relations has provided me with a positive worldview that I can take anywhere in the world to contribute to a constructive social or policy change. I think the really exciting thing about the Master of International Relations program is it allows people to explore a whole world of opportunities that, that really wasn't available to earlier generations. It's perfectly aligned with the way the world's moving. Uh, there are lots of risks and challenges uh, and concerns, of course, in this area, but also a whole wide range of possible opportunities for changing the world.